Hey. But <clears throat> oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out, but all that wimpy shit is just well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go, get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably gonna be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Yeah, it's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hint. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star, sort of. Mom said she was at Bean Machine. Not to, like, lay it on you, but are you gonna tell me why some beast Mexicans were parked outside of the crib for a couple weeks? Probably because this is the only house in the neighborhood someone refers to as a crib. Serious answer, please? I don't want to persuade my mother and sister to move back in just in time for the arrival of the drug cartel death squad. Oh, don't worry. Me and the drug cartel death squad have made our peace. Your Uncle Trevor, on the other hand, that's a disaster just waiting to happen. There they are, outside. Come on, let's say hi. Let's walk up and be civil. No caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more boy toy. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. These two, a picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit out on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? what are you doing? Ah! Ah! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I want it. I'm meaning to say to you. Look, I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone say... Shut up! <laughs> I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? 
Fine. All right, you. Come on, get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No, no yoga. All right, you know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too, later. I think Tracy's over at the tattoo parlor. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh God, no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo, that asshole. What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after that. Oh, sorry. There was me thinking that you might have grown in our time apart. Perfect. Our big family reunion's gonna happen in a jail cell. Hey, hey, careful! This isn't funny. Get rid of them. Get rid of them now. I really wish you could get arrested and learn a lesson, but we really don't have time. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst here coming. Careful! This is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Here's the tattoo shop. for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes, even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Uh, yes, and if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. oh whoa, Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here is gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh. Uh, I'm bi-coastal, I can't have... Ow! Are you popping a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho? Ah, fuck the paparazzi, you're gonna love this! Ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah, oh, ah, ow. Oh, ho, ho, that looks pretty. Here, let's get rid of this. Oh, my God, Papa Bear, what's daddy number two gonna think about this? Let's not get him involved. Let's do... You really don't want me to slip. Let's solve this like men, and we'll use the same position. Ugh. Uh, uh, prison rape! Uh. How about I throw those three little pubic hairs on here, too? Ah, there we go. Oh, that's nice. You got, like, a camera phone or a mirror? Oh, yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash you upside the head with it. Fuck this, oh, man. No. Oh. Ah. Snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. Look, we can work this out. Like men, you know, if you catch my drift. Oh, oh no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean... I'm not a miracle. Just do it! Yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll, like, call you or something, okay? Bye. There's ever a family that needs therapy. My ponytail. How do I look? 
Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew! Are you serious? Come on! No! Not quite. He's a fine therapist and a brilliant mind. He overcharges and underprescribes. Hey, I can attest to that. The charging part. He wouldn't even give Marisa anxiety medicine when she was having panic attacks. She was having panic attacks because she blasts yay all weekend. What are you, the cops? Yeah, what the fuck? I raise a rat boy? What? You gonna fit me with some concrete boots now? Just give me your size. I'm not judging. I mean. Who am I to judge, right? All I'm saying is that Mr. Shrinkage might have seen through the sister's skeezy-ass friends. Uh, at least I got it. Are you fucking crazy? So, there was me thinking that you might have grown in our time apart? Is that what you call it? Hey, hey, hey! Friendly, all right? Jimmy's only friendly through a headset and a haze of pot smoke. If that's as personal as he gets, I am fucking ain't worried. Why are you ganging up on me? Because you're an easy target. It'd be hard to miss. I didn't mean it like that, that you're fat. I just meant, you're not fat. I meant, you're, you know. Nice one, Dad. Pick on our insecurities on the way to therapy? Hey, I just got it wrong. Actually, screw boots. Hello, Precious Cargo. Actually, screw both of you. You're only here because I decided to get us back together. Now, what are we? A 90s boy band? For the record, I was about to come see you, Dad. Sure you were. And Mom was about to serenade this drunken oak from outside his bedroom window. Does little Jimmy Wimmy feel neglected? Oh, maybe Jimmy Wimmy should tell the doctor man about his horrible childhood. Wah. Hey, Jim, I'm grateful. Someone needed to do it, and you were the bigger man. I mean, not Thank that... Thank you, little brother. Hey, hey, Thank careful! You. Thank you, little brother. You're not an absolutely, completely useless set. You're a good kid, Jim. Does that mean I can have a car? Because then I can get a job and some real friends, and this probably would have happened sooner if I didn't have to bum a ride over to the house. We'll see. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. Fuck off. Fighting. Amanda. Hello. Good to see you again, Michael. I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really Fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do shit. It. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. Great. I think we made some real progress there. 
Oh, uh, Michael, <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey, so you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right, then. Will you drive us home? आगे बढ़ने से पहले मैं आप सभी को बता दूं अगर आपने अभी तक मेरे इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो सब्सक्राइब करें साथ ही साथ इस बेल आइकन को भी दबाएं ताकि आप कोई भी ऐसी बेहतरीन गेम को मिस ना कर सके मैं तो अपने सारे पीसी गेम और मोबाइल गेम के मिशन को पार किए जा रहा हूं पर क्या आप अपने मिशन को पार नहीं करोगे इस वीडियो को शेयर करने का मिशन Home it is. Unless you move some hookers in, in which case it's just the way you left it. Maybe a little dusty's all, with a few tear stains and a whiff of bitter loneliness. That's just natural old man smell. Also known as whiskey, cigars, and takeout. And hookers and murder. No hookers and no murder. Not in the house. Enough already. Look, we got any ground rules for the brand new shiny, healthy family dynamics. The Santa 2.0. Uh. 3.0, Dick Ball. Townleys would be 1.0, and the DeSantis were more like 2.0. This is like 3.0. You're right. Does that mean we need a new name? 'Cause we could just take like one of yours from the can. Remind me, do you spell it with two X's or is it three? Shut up. Ground rules. Now where are we? I got one I can think of. What's that, baby? Don't get killed. Ha <laughs> ha. That's kind of out of my hands. And don't be a smartass. And don't get us killed either. Hey, that ain't happening. Just... Wait! Hello, precious cargo. I'll do everything I can to protect you. Promise. Things are starting to fall into place, baby. And the safest place you can be is right here with me. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you. I totally figured the whole thing out. Kids, rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. 